Hello everybody, welcome to the first Advent edition of Monday Musings. I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday, uh, a Thanksgiving meal, whether it be the traditional turkey and all the trimmings or some other uh, family traditional meal. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine uh, who reminded me that his family's traditional Thanksgiving meal for a couple of years now has been Thai food. So um, hopefully you had a wonderful celebratory meal, whatever that is, uh, for, for your family. Uh, hopefully also you enjoyed the extra uh, day off on Black Friday. Uh, maybe you did some shopping or maybe not. Um, I didn't. Uh, just took advantage of the nice quiet day and getting ready for beginning the holy season of Advent and the, the liturgical uh, new year which uh, we've, now, we've now begun. Uh, one of you shot me an email uh, late last night saying that she had watched a live stream with uh, Archbishop Cordelioni over in San Francisco uh, and that he and I used the same image of Stephen Covey's uh, second habit of beginning with the end in mind as uh, his image for his homily uh, this weekend too. So I don't know uh, whether to feel honored that I use the same image as an archbishop or to feel bad uh, that the archbishop was used the same <laughs> image as I did. But anyway, that it, it, it made sense of uh, beginning our Advent journey with the glory of Christmas and really the glory of the resurrection uh, is, is a good thing for, for us to do to sustain us uh, along our inevitably bumpy uh, journey along the way. So um, this weekend we will be having our youth mass, which will be the Sunday uh, five o'clock mass. So that will be happening uh, this weekend and our candle lighting, Advent candle lighting will happen uh, at, at that liturgy. Um, also next week uh, is the Immaculate Conception on the 8th and we'll have the same schedule of Masses that we did for All Saints Day, uh, namely the uh, 6.45, 8.15, noon, and 7 p.m. And because it is a Thursday, that means there will be no confessions available uh, next Thursday, the 8th of December, uh, because, of course, there will be Mass uh, going, going on. So... Um, and just wanted to remind everybody that uh, we will not be producing uh, the worship aids in English um, anymore just for the Spanish uh, because the readings are in the Glory and Praise books. I know a lot of you have gotten used to looking on your phone, uh, whether it be uh, a Magnificat or, you know, this is a good time to plug the My Parish app. Uh, because it has all of the specific St. Dominic's information, including the bulletin, uh, but it also has the readings for not only Sunday, uh, but for, for every day as well. So if, if you like to have the readings and don't want to use uh, the books uh, in the church, that you can uh, please feel free to uh, use that for, for, following, for following along. Um, and as I say, that'll just be for the Spanish Mass because the glory and praise is not, the readings are not uh, in Spanish. So we will continue to produce for that community. Uh, just a reminder for those of you who do like uh, printed bulletins, there are uh, bulletins available uh, in the ministry center. Uh, but otherwise, uh, most people have seen to have made the transition to getting the bulletin uh, digitally, which of course, uh, saves the parish some money in not having to uh, prepare a bulletin or to excuse me to pr print a bulletin uh, every week for that looks gets looked at for five seconds and then gets recycled because that's you know quite a quite a bit of money to, to do that particularly to do it in in color uh, again not that we're adverse to to doing that but for some not for something that looks gets looked at for five seconds and then tossed uh, that that's a waste of your money, a waste of your donations. 
and don't I want to be be good stewards. So again, most people seem to have made the transition of getting the bulletin online. And just a reminder that the readings are also available on the My Parish app. I uh, just type in St. Dominic's Benicia uh, and you'll be all set to go that you'll have uh, the bulletin, the readings, uh, all, all sorts of information, actually stuff from the diocese as well. Uh, all, it's kind of one-stop, one-stop shopping and convenient for that. So uh, again, so just a reminder that next week uh, is the Immaculate Conception, uh, which is a holy day of obligation. So the two morning masses, uh, noon and 7 p.m. and no confessions uh, that evening. Uh, but this week, the schedule uh, is, is normal. And uh, next weekend, the, the uh, mass schedule is normal uh, with the addition of the youth mass uh, at 5 p.m. on Sunday. So again, as a reminder, we're trying that as an experiment uh, for this year, seeing how that goes. And then uh, we'll think about uh, whether or not to bring that mass back every week uh, for the next uh, ministry year. So... Uh, that is what's going on uh, for now. Um, hope everybody is doing well and look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye for now.